Oh my goodness, this is so pretty! Look at the forest, you guys! Oh man, this is gonna be awesome! So, I'll explain a little bit more in a minute here, because I think we have a, a longer cutscene at the start of the game, but we are playing Pine. It's a new game that just came out. Look at the bird! And uh, it actually just released a couple days ago, and I am so excited to play this game. I've been waiting for this game for, I think, about, I want to say, like, two years or something. I've been following it for a while. Oh, and look at this village! Oh my goodness. This, this already looks very, very cool. Oh. Oh. And it looks like we're starting out here. So I believe he is the player character. Is that... Is that him up here? Oh, I think it is. What's he doing? Oh. I think we we better go answer that, perhaps. Okay, and it looks like that might be exactly what it wants us to do. Yet, yeah, here we go. So we've got a new quest called The Ceremony. we got to talk to Marla, and we can move around now. So I'm just using the WASDA keys here. Left shift to sprint. Okay, that's pretty standard stuff. Uh, looks like we can uh, pick things up. we got a grand cone. That's pretty cool. But yeah, so this game is called Pine, and I expect to be learning a little bit more about the world as time goes on. Look at this. Look how cool this is. I actually really like the style of it, too. It's got kind of a... Almost a painty look to it, which is really nice. Who are you? Interact. Who's this? Mesp. Hey, Hugh. How are you, Mesp? Oh, they talk. It's not It's not English, but they talk. That's so cool. Nervous? Yeah, I'm afraid I won't see Kan as often after he moves in. I'll miss him. Don't worry. It's not like he'll be far away, right? Well, what if the freedom gets to him and he'll go travel and all that? Oh, no. Oh, dear. So it's... Seems like somebody is maybe moving away. That, that seems a little bit, um... Well, it's always a, a bittersweet. Oh, I can't wait for today's ceremony. Nothing is more beautiful than seeing our village thrive and being together for something fun. Only a few more hours. Okay, I'm gonna try... They they talk, but I'll try and read their lines as well. <laughs> I'll try, try to let them talk. And it looks like this is where we need to go, so... Uh, if you guys have followed anything about the game, you probably know a little bit more of the premise, which I'm actually not seeing a huge amount of what I've seen yet, so I'm gonna kind of wait to talk about it until we get a little bit further in the story here. So is this, this is who we're supposed to speak to, right? Marla. Ah, Hugh, there you are. We are almost done with the preparations. Ilma and Edwin ask for some more resources from the, for the treehouse. I would ask your brother, but I can't find him anywhere. Even more resources? Yes, yes, not sure what exactly, but please go see them. Off we go. All right, so I want, I think, I bet that was our brother we talked to in the beginning, because they looked a lot alike, uh, Hugh and him, that is. I can't remember his name, okay. Edwin and Ilma, how we can help with the construction. Looks like we gotta go down here. So, let's head this way. Oh, what's that in the distance? There looks like there's some sort of fire out there. I wonder if that's gonna be important later. So, let's see who we've got here. All right. Right on time, Hugh. We wanted to call the treehouse done, but the rocks it stands on are so brittle. We wanted to consult with Gary, but he wouldn't listen. Could you get us more stiff rope, stiff rope and stuff cloth for some extra fortifications? Gary should be able to help you with the mar wooden stiff rope, and I believe Luya was folding some stuff cloth near the washing spot. On it. All right. So I, I do not have the voices nailed down. So we're gonna um. We're gonna figure that out. So I think this is a sort of tutorial. I haven't played this game very much at all. I kind of just loaded it up, made sure it ran properly, and then started out. But uh, I, I kind of get the feeling that something might happen. You, I'm, I'm a bit busy. Can I help you? Ilma and Edwin need some more stiff rope to fortify the house. Even more stiff rope doesn't grow on tree. Well, you know what I mean. The treehouse is not stable enough, they said. Nonsense! Our houses are st as strong as ever. Uh oh, that that <laughs> doesn't that seems like a recipe for disaster. Oomph, if they insist, I'm much too busy preparing for the ceremony. But you can use the marwood on the crate to make some stiff rope yourself. Okay, so this is probably gonna probably gonna teach us how to craft. Tell them this should definitely do it. Can't wait for today's celebrations. All right, so we've received an idea. These are concepts of an I uh, items that you can create yourself. Open your menu with escape and go to the crafting tab to craft ideas when you have the required resources. So we've got crafting. I think is here. Okay, stiff rope. Okay. So I take it we're going to be a little bit of an inventor of sorts. All right, let's gather this marwood. And then if we go to our crafting menu here, we can craft it with marwood. So I think hold E to create. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead. We will um, 
Do we need to talk to you again? Probably not. Oh, we can see on the compass where our next objective is, too. That's really handy. And um, the camera controls... Oh, gravel moss. You know what? I'm just going to snag all the things that I notice because you never know when they might be handy. This is a also... Oh, as much as I hate to see it, it's a very peaceful beginning, and that makes me uneasy because I get the feeling that something's going to happen. <laughs> all right, let's see who this is. Luya. Hey, Hugh. Hey, hi, Luya. Do you have some more stuff cloth for the treehouse? Oof, I'm too busy with today's laundry, I'm afraid. Did anyone ever teach you how to make stuff cloth yourself? Perhaps you can craft it for Edwin and Ilma. All right, so we've got the idea for that, which I assume we're going to need to just yoink this. And let's see if we go to crafting. We should be able to make some stuff cloth. There we go. All right. So now we know how to craft things. This is totally a handy skill. Now we got to bring him back. <laughs> and I, I mean that in the sense of, yes, of course it's a handy skill, but, uh, hmm, I, I, I don't know, you guys. I just, I've got the horrible feeling that something's not going to go according to plan because, let, let's let's face it, how many stories does, uh, how many stories does everything always work out right the first time? So let's see who we've got up here. Thank you, Hugh. Let's hope this does the trick. It will have to do. Our trees have been growing as fast as they should. So even Marwood will be in short supply soon. Uh-oh. Then perhaps it's time to explore the lands below. We are not going We are not going into the out to find more. We all know that's not an option. Uh-huh. Why do I get the feeling that's exactly what we're going to have to do? All right. In any case, today is about celebrating the completion of this wonderful new treehouse. Let's wrap this up and have the ceremony. Hugh, I can't find your brother anywhere. Could you get him to come to the ceremony? He's probably in his corner drawing out all that nonsense. Okay, so, Mom, okay, he looks like he's down here. Uh, we'll have to head down here. So maybe that wasn't our brother, or maybe we have multiple brothers. Um, but there's somebody over here, I think? Oh, there's something here. I'm going to yoink that. Oh, yeah, we can use space to jump. I kind of figured that out already. The controls are pretty standard. Oh, who do we have here? Who are you? Are this Is this our brother? Oh, there certainly is a family resemblance. Hey, Hugh. Gary had me carry logs around all day, so I retreated for a bit. I think I just spotted another one of those white and slimy creatures below. If you squint your eyes hard enough... No, thanks. I'm good. Oh, so they live way up on the mountain. Ah, you should never look away. There's so much to explore and see. Well, not if it's up to Marla and Gary. Ugh, all they're concerned about it with all they're concerned with is their tree houses and ceremonies. There must be more to the world than this, right? About that ceremony, it's starting soon. They wanted me to come and get you. Uh, yeah, Ugh, well there's still some time. Remember that strange construction I found that I told you about? I think I have an idea on how to open it. Oh man. I don't know, ma'am. You know what Marla says about straying too far from home. Oh come on, there's still some time before the ceremony. Meet me at the harvesting site whenever you're ready and I'll show you. Oh, he, so he's the, <laughs> he seems like the adventurer. I'm gonna yoink this because that could, uh, that could be handy. Let's get up here. I don't know. I think you guys are gonna cause a problem if you do this. Uh, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Some problems end up being for the best, but I think we better go see what he's up to because he seems like a bit of a free spirit and I don't think we can let him get into trouble without us. All right. What's going on here? I knew you'd be interested. Well, I'm doing this for you. We should quickly eat something before we go exploring. Grab some of the meager yam over there. They'll replenish your energy in no time. All right, so we've got to harvest some crops. We got some meager yam. Okay, keep an eye on your energy. Everything you do will deplete it, so eating is vital. You can eat it to repl any food you find in the world to replete your energy. Put in one item to your pin slot to select it by eating Q. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and there we go. So it looks like, okay, this tells us what we've got here. And this looks like some sort of wheat something or another. What's up here? Common wheat. Okay, I'm going to swipe some of that if I can, because I think it might have be, come in handy. I'm going to take all the food I can get, because you never know when that, uh, when you might need it. Especially if you happen to get, uh, I don't know, lost in the wild or something. Totally, totally not, um... T totally no reason I might think that could happen. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I really don't know what happens in this, but I have a strong hunch, and you've probably figured that out now. So we'll be back before Marla has even turned her ancient head. Last one there has to eat two bowls of Marla's stew. Uh oh. <sighs> All right, he's off. We better follow him. Oh, I think mate. Oh no, we are gonna have to follow him. Okay, where did he go? He went down this way. All right. 
I don't know. I think someone's going to end up falling. I think somebody's going to fall into the unknown here or something. All right, you're down here. I, I, it looks like we might have to eat the stew. Oh, man. What did you find? All right, here it is. I cleared away some of the bushes and found that round thing hanging there. And I figured we'd probably have to hit it with something, but throwing didn't do the trick. So behold, I made this slingshot. It'll let, I'll let you do the honors. Let's see what happens. Okay. So you have both a melee and a ranged weapon slot at all times. Swap between them. You're using axe. So I think... Okay, oh, that'll show us what to do. Use right mouse button to draw your ranged weapon and a left mouse button to release it. Oh, hey! Hey, it worked! Let's let's go in the spooky old mine shaft. Let's see what we'll find. A uh, mom, wait. Uh, he didn't wait. All right, we better follow him before. Oh, there, there's, there's absolutely no way this could uh, go badly, is there? Totally nothing that could go wrong. <laughs> this is this is smart. There's nothing at all unwise about this. Whoa, you have a sword. I want a sword. Oh my goodness, do I get a sword? This looks like a real adventuring tool. There's another one. You should grab it. Oh, yes. Please give me the sword. An old pinewood sword. Oh, heck yes. Can we attack things? Look, if you swing it a few times, you'll, get, you'll look really powerful. Okay, what have we got? Oh, it's... I clicked too fast, so it said something about right mouse button, didn't it? I'm not too sure. If you hold it behind your head for a bit and then release, you'll do a much heavier attack. Hold it. I see. Oh, so... Oh, oh can you combo that? Oh, and those slimy white creatures won't have anything against it. I missed what he said first. Okay, F to perform a kick attack to knock enemies off their feet. Nice, man. That's pretty cool. What if we combine dashes with swings? Endless possibilities. So you, there's definitely a combo system here. Uh, left shift, left shift, and then left mouse to perform a poke attack. Oh, so you can kind of leap back. Oh, and that's how you dodge by uh, just tapping shift. Check this one out. Oh, what are you gonna do, buddy Oh, Uh, oh no! Oh, that's not good. What have you done? Are you okay? Oh, he's, he's like proper stuck. Uh, Mom, are you alright? I'm fine, I lost my balance. Whoops. That was exciting, but now I need to get out of here. Can you see any way out? There's a wooden door with a small note next to it. It says, left, left, right, any ideas? I'll, I'll see what I can find. All right, um, down here, what's this? Oh, it's a torch, okay. Um, a uh, mom, can you hear me? Loud and clear. I'm blocked from this side too. What was it you said again? The only thing I see is left, left, right written on this note. Something tells me that maybe, okay, we need, I think we may, might need, oh, I bet I know what's going on here. Okay, oops. So let's do that. Let's do that. And that. That was not it. Oh, it was! Okay, it worked! Oh. It was! I was. I figured it was a puzzle of some sorts. Let's see if I can open yours now. Alright. Alright, if we run through here. Oh, yeah, the, the there's... <laughs> oh, the, um, the, 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 the thing was telling us where to go. Okay. Whew, glad we got out of there. What do you say? Want to go a bit further? I don't know, Mom. That was pretty close. We're both still here, right? Come on, let's eat some food if you have any. We can get going. All right, so... Oh, yeah, we got to watch our energy. I haven't been doing that enough. Let's see how much we uh, we have. We're down a little bit. All right, we're energized. Oh, so when you first eat, you get energized. There's a torch here. What have you found? What is this? Okay, the mystery deepens. Hmm. Check this out, Hugh. Those figures look like humans. And that tall one, whoa. He must be an adventurer who came from the out. And he seems to have left them again at some point. Could they be the humans of our cliff? Our ancestors? That can't be true. We've never been in the out, right? Well, who else would have made this drawing? It looked like this, they closed off this cave behind them. Don't you get what this means, Hugh? It means human were, humans were in the out at some point. We can return there someday. There must be more to the, those lands than the scary creatures we are told of, right? We should tell Marla what we found. I'm not sure that's a good idea. And we should hurry to the ceremony, I think. You go ahead. I want to stare at this for a bit longer. I'll be right with you. He's not coming, is he? I don't think he's coming. Brother, please don't do anything stupid. Although, I don't know... 
Uh, this, <laughs> this is how adventures begin, and I am both excited and a little bit terrified because uh, I, I think a mom is going to do something. I'm not entirely sure what, but I think he's probably going to do something, and uh, I don't think there's any stopping him now. So let's head back out, and we'll see what we can find. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello. Um, you are incorrigible, Mom. But taking young Hugh with you? Mother knows what could have happened in there. You know you should never leave the perimeter. Sorry, Marla, but we discovered that we did- I have no interest in whatever nonsense you found. You are very well aware that this was off-limits and that we should stay inside the village like we always have. But that's exactly- Now get back to the village. You're already late for the ceremony. Everyone is waiting for you, too. Oh, she was not too happy. You were right, little brother. She sure wasn't happy about that. We really do have to tell her about what we saw, though. Unless maybe she already knows. She's been here much longer than we have. Only one way to find out, but first let's hurry to the ceremony. Alright, so maybe nothing has happened just yet, <laughs> but uh, I don't know, y'all. I've got, uh, got a funny feeling that... Um, that this is... things are not gonna quite go according to plan. Does sprinting drain our energy? I'm trying to determine if we can sprint indefinitely. Oh, we just ran up here at least. Ah, a treehouse ceremony. Look at this. All right, now that we're all he finally here, the ceremony can officially begin. Thank you, Marla. As a tradition, I'd like to thank everyone for their efforts. It took a bit more work and resources than usual, but we did it again. Our new house stands tall and strong. <laughs> We shall continue to expand our village. Our next house shall stand right next to this one and will be even bigger and more beautiful. I would now like to call forth Ilma and Khan to officially claim their tr this treehouse as their own. And later, and after that, we feast. Alright, so... Looks like we've got new residents for the treehouse. And are we gonna get to go to dinner now? <laughs> Food's always good, right? Assuming there is food. Time for stew. Oh wait, is it her stew? Is this what we were t warned might be kind of bad? What are you two thinking? <laughs> what are you two doing? Ugh, I think I'll throw up if I smell another bowl of that dry stew of hers. I don't see why Gary is so obsessed with it. It's almost like he wants these ceremonies just for the stew. He sure eats a lot of it. Would you look at that? Another round wooden tree house. Aren't we creative? Mother forbid trying anything new for a change. If I ever become chief, we'll definitely try something new. Oh, um... That ain't good. That ain't good. Um, oh, oh no! Oh no, that's- that's not good! Oh my goodness! Um, no! Oh no! Oh! Well, that's, uh, that's one way to end up in the unknown. Oh my goodness. I take it we passed out, and I don't know what that thing is. But it's right in our face. Yeah, uh, you okay there, bud? What have you found? What have you found? Have you made a friend, perhaps? Oh. What the? Um, <laughs> what the heck is that thing? <laughs> oh my goodness, um, oh. Who are you? Oh my goodness, who is this? <laughs> You've come from above, have you not? I always did have a hunch that something must have been brewing up that cliff. Never did I dare to imagine it would be humans. Oh, do you know of them then? Dangerous place, that cliff. Here we call it the Unstable Cliffs for good reason. I can imagine the shock, fellow, but you're not dreaming. Both of us might be trapped. Follow me. Okay, um... Okay, bear friend. Uh, a nose for adventure is our new quest, so we gotta follow the creature. So he's up here. Let's not land in the water. Um, do we still have food on us? Hopefully. I'm going to steal all the supplies I can get. Well, I guess I'm not stealing them. I'm just taking them from nature. But I'm gonna take everything I can with me. Off his name is. I had the bad luck of being here when that rumbling started. I, I'm sorry, but who are you? 
The name is off. What are the Tombas? We travel, we study, we practice politics, and sometimes we are stuck. <laughs> I'll need to get this bridge fixed to get my Alpophant back up there. So here's a suggestion. You help me get some Marwood, Marwood and Stiff Rope for the bridge and some food for my Alphant as she's hungry. And I'll get you something for that blockade as I think that's going to be your way up. It looks pretty sturdy, but I recently invented a thing for that. Oh, is that the other end of the tunnels, I wonder? Okay. What was that noise? Hmm. Well. <laughs> oh, we've got some currants, which are uh, probably going to be the food for the uh, Al Alpafant, I think he's called it. I I'm g it's going to take me some time to get used to the names in this game, I think. <laughs> so we need to make some stiff rope. Let's go ahead and make some of that. And then I think what we need to do is come back here and um, go ahead. We'll interact with this guy. Uh, his name is Alf. It's going to take me a bit to get used to the names, I'm afraid. If you can help me get those research, then that food will be helping you get through the cave. I'll get up. I get off this Alpafon to help you, except I don't really like walking. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, it tells us what we need. Okay, so we need, um, we need more stiff rope. So let's go ahead, craft this. And now we should have enough. So let's go ahead and talk to him again. There we go. Neither of us are strong enough to actually rebuild this, but I'll find someone who can. Here's something to get you inside that cave. It's called an explosive keg, and it's not subtle. Oh, this couldn't go badly in any potential way. Hit it with some projectile, and I'll blow right up. Be careful with it. Okay, so uh, deployable explosive keg. Let's um, let's not stand too close to the effective TNT. Okay. Um, all right. So you can deploy certain items in the world using Q. Explosive keg can be detonated by shooting at. It. Okay. So I'm guessing rather than just eating, we have to hold Q. Yes, and it'll. We can put that right there. And I'm going to stand quite a ways away. We will go ahead and... Nope, that wasn't... So there is, there is like... Oh, whoa! <laughs> that was kind of a big explosion. Okay. Um, so that... Um, basically, there is a little bit... Uh, the projectiles don't just shoot straight. They do have physics to them, so that's good to know. All right, let's see what's in here. I forget, you can't just walk right in. <laughs> you gotta hit interact. <laughs> What have we got in here? A way back to the unstable cliff. Something tells me we might not, uh, we might not be getting up here. Oh! Okay, hold on. Okay. Let's get in here first, then. And then I think we need to... Yeah, there we go. What have we got? Oh my gosh, what is this? That doesn't look safe. What? It doesn't seem too friendly. I wish your mom was here. He would know what to do. I think we're gonna have to... F yeah, we are gonna have to fight it! <laughs> Alright, um... You can use mouse button 3 to focus on him. Okay. So, that's... Can I just... If I aim a little bit up... Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's angry. Okay, um... Uh, how- okay, X to, uh, switch weapons. Whoa, it's got a projectile attack. Okay, we're gonna have to, uh, probably kite it. Oh, maybe not. Oh my goodness, what's it doing? It's electric, it looks like. Okay, oh, he's gonna do something bad again. Yeah, he got a little bit hurt there. Crocker essence. Well, it's dead now. Crocker essence. Get out of the room. Okay. So that's kind of just a little bit of a- of, um, a tutorial, I think, there. What's this? We can't do anything with that. Is there another way out? Is there anything around here that I can gather? There's all these weird little, um... Oh! There's a torch! Aha! Okay, there's all those weird little moth things there. There we go! That's what I'm talking about. That was an ominous sound. I'm not sure I liked that. Um... I, some, something tells me this isn't actually going to take me home. Oh, or is it? Maybe it will. Maybe it will. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I've made my way home here. Um, share your story with Amam. Oh, we did make it back. We did make it back. Okay. So, I guess, uh, I guess things weren't as bad as they seemed. Because, wait, were there people in the treehouse when it fell, though? Like, that's what I want to know. Is I don't know if they were still in there or not, because... That could have been kind of bad. Um, let's sneak back up here and see what, uh, see what we can find. See if we can talk to- oh. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, this doesn't look so good up here. 
this this really doesn't look so good. Wait, was he okay? Did he get he got pinned by that tree, didn't he? Oh no! Oh, don't tell me! Oh, mother's mercy, you are safe. We thought we lost you too from a. Oh no! Are you hurt? How did you get back? Did you fall all the way into the out? I'm fine. My head hurts a bit. But I met this wondrous creature off. He lives in the out. I feared as much. Did it hurt you? Were you attacked? No, no. He was very kind. He helped me get back here. He also knew about the bad state these cliffs are in. Where is a mom? I have to tell him about what happened. Oh, no. No. You can't tell me that he's... Mm -hmm. Hugh. The collapse brought terrible havoc. Luya, Edwin, and, and Eam did not survive, and neither did he, Hugh. Oh, my goodness. But he must have gotten away, right? He jumped away. He must be down there. We found him, Hugh. Oh, my... No. He must have pushed you away from the danger. We are so sorry. I, I don't believe you. He must be around. Mom is strong. Oh, this is, oh, this is, this is gonna hurt, isn't it? This is, mm. oh, guys, this is, I, I did not expect to sign up for, uh, for this kind of heartbreak. Oh, okay, can we jump down? Are we gonna get hurt? There wasn't enough fall damage there to hurt us, apparently. I mean, I guess we did fall quite far and we were okay. Oh. Oh. This is his map. He was going to map the whole world. Oh. This is making me really, really sad, you guys. No. Poor guy. Oh. Hugh, please come back to town. We know what you are going through. We have to start rebuilding. We would need everyone's help in that. A mom would have helped too. No, a mom would have made sure we found made sure we would find a better place to live than these cliffs. Hugh, there is no other place to live. The out is not an option. It never has been. That's not true. We told you. Humans were in the out before. Do not believe those nonsense drawings you see. We are too weak to simply walk into the outskirts. Please come back to the square, Hugh. We will figure it out. Oh, poor guy. But I think... I think we know what a mom would have wanted. And I see fires in the distance. Oh, and here we go, you guys. This is how it begins. Oh... So, we have a mission, you guys. We have a goal. A mom might not be with us. Oh, here he goes. He's venturing into the unknown here. A mom may not be with us any longer, but it's up to Hugh to find a new way and hopefully save the rest of his village and stop this from ever happening again. Oh, poor guy. I didn't know we were going to get... I didn't know we were gonna get hit with this tragedy right off the right off the bat here. So okay, we've got the map. Your next goal is an exploration objective. The objective can be found somewhere inside the marked area. Okay, so we've just got to get up this way. But uh, I think we're actually gonna go ahead and wrap up here because uh, it is about that time again. So what a start to the adventure! This poor guy. Mm, I feel bad for him, but. Uh, at the very least, this is where his adventure begins, and we still have the chance to help the rest of the village if we can prove that uh, that, that it, it's possible to survive out here. So let's just uh, let's just hope we can do that. Let's eat some food before we just straight up die. Okay, food heals us as well. That's uh, that's important to know. But uh, we're going to go ahead and end this off here. And next time, we're going to have to see just what's out there. And if you guys have seen any of the promotional um, promotional material for Pine, you might have an idea. If not, then uh, stay tuned because we're about to find out. But we'll have to do it in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.